Good morning. So today um, I want to try and finish off a um, bunch of um, API endpoint tests, just kind of have a little look, see what we've got so far, and make sure we haven't got any gaps. Um, and so my my goal is to eventually just finish off this branch that I've got of API tests so that I can then start moving on to UI work, um, which is sorely needed. So um, let's see, where, where are we? Um, I think. All right, let's get to, let's make sure everything's up and running. test on the server. Looks good. And uh, go test. Let's see. Make sure we know what we've got. Okay. All right. There's definitely a few um definitely a few missing uh, tests there. Let's see what we've got missing. So we have this, um, what have we got in the API? Oh, it's the services we want to see. So we have a ping. Yep, so we've got a ping test. We've got a login test with failures. Um, we haven't got anything for reset password or check on the reset password token or change passwords. So nothing related to passwords has been tested yet. That's going to be quite difficult to do, but we'll have a look maybe. Um, we haven't got anything for get goals yet, um, but we do because what we've concentrated on so far is the add and edit goal. Uh, no get measurements either, um, but we do have add measurement, which is what we did most recently. So let's let's knock off the get goals and get measurements tests because um, they are both very critical to the app um, and easier to test than the password stuff, which is all based on email handling. So I'm not quite sure how I'd do that. So come back to that one. Um, so get goals, I guess, because that's, yeah. Yep. So the inputs are quite simple, member ID and token string. And then we get an array back of goals potentially a token, potentially an authentication error. Okay, so it's a fairly smallish 
um, data set, although obviously goals could be huge. Okay. Right, member ID. I'm going to get some goals back. Let's create a new test then. So, let's kind of position it up with the edit goal stuff. That was the last of the goal things. Yeah, and then it's all measurements. Okay, <clears throat> what are we going to need for this then? We're going to need to mock up I'm going to need to basically do an add goal kinda mock that we've already done one and then retrieve it which is similar to what we've kind of done with the add measurement. Oh no, we didn't really need to add an actual goal. We just mocked up if they existed. Okay. So At the beginning of test edit goal, we do kind of mock up one and then change its values as such. So let's grab that and edit from there. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll put it here. Okay, so we're going to be passing the member ID and we are going to be doing the token string. Um, this stuff here is going to be our first goal. So we're going to do, what we should probably do is um, empty goal, a goal, and then multiple goals. So let's do what we got here. So this is passing the goal ID, which we don't need. What we need is a select. I'm going to do the token stuff first. which we can grab from add goal because that's different then. That's the failures. Okay. Right, it's the token stuff we need. Just grab all of that actually. 
wonder if that's the same. Should be the same ID. It is good. Okay. So we're going to be passing in in theory a member ID um, and a token string. And a query should return that token date. Because we've got the mock token stuff now, haven't we? What did I do on there? Same thing. Remember I did... Okay. So I can actually upgrade some stuff here. I don't need all that again. that then let's do a quick upgrade on the edit goal uh, add goal and theory we can take that out because we've now got a way of checking a mocking and checking a member ID and token. Which means we get a new rows in here. Good. Um, and I guess I can do the same on here.
need any of that. This is the um, ad, ad goal failure, so I'm just upgrading the mock token stuff on here now that we've got it. Okay, so we'll need to run that again. This point here, we don't need the token date. Don't need token date here. Um, and here we're doing Similar stuff. Again, don't need that. So, don't need that. Don't need token date, I think. Rose is created for the first time. So we get to full data with measurement. And then here again, don't need the token date. use token date again get rid of the token stuff We need to test some ready conditions, don't we? Hmm. 
Little mucky muck. I want that comments there. Doesn't make sense. Start each one with the, what we expect there, so let's do that. Okay, test empty verb. Test only verbs applied, everything else can be defaulted. later than end date fails as that does not make sense yeah so I get the token and then we set the data Let's try and keep consistent in how we lay these things out okay do the token then do the data a new test. End date defaults to Unix e button date taken. Okay, let's see. Now that I read my test comments there, I need to kind 
going to clean up a bit there. Test date taken later than end date. Fails of same power. Yeah. And Maybe it's more readable. Okay, so test date taken later than end date fails, blah, blah, blah. A test end date defaults to Unix epoch with date taken after unit. Fails. because we understand that. Uh, right, so... Where's that end date coming from? Okay, so that's minus 42 from today, so in the past. Well, the date taken is in the future. So let's say that. Test. Extend date supplied is earlier than supplied date taken. Test. Date taken in future of oh, that does not make sense for Agar. Yeah. Get the token string. Do not create token stuff. That's okay, but I can still probably take it up. the last one on that okay Oof. I might not even get to our goals testing with this fight um get goals All right quick test that make sure I haven't mucked up anything there that's good 
Okay, so that's the failures done. Add goal, add goal failure um, with the new mock stuff. Edit goal has it already. And I don't think login stuff needs it because it's quite different. We're creating users and hashed passwords. And then we're actually expecting the token to be created. So that's a very different test. We've done any token failure stuff there. Let's check that at some point. Okay. Uh, what's the time? Edit goals, good. Yeah, and add measurement already has the mock stuff in it. That's why we created it originally. So we can quickly do a happy path, get goals. So mock up that probably do not need token date in this instance. But we'll see. We have a doing end date based on it there. Although we've got the new truncate stuff, haven't we? Just a little bit. It's a bit easier than that. Hmm. 
Oh, that's why I was doing that. That's a bit of a pain. So is there no month duration? Oh, I suppose there won't be. <laughs> be days, won't it? But you can aim that by hours and seconds and stuff. All right, let's do. Actually, yeah, let's just use the token date because it is kind of nice to easier to do. Okay, so we're taking the UTC version of the token day, which should already be, I guess. Dialers return UTC? Yeah. Oh, it was add date I was doing. It's just... Okay. mock already yeah no, okay that's fine that is time that's fine uh yeah it'll do so what we need is forget goals. This is uh, just a single one at the moment. We'll do an empty one in it. Um, have to mock up a goal. So we're doing. Everything there. Passing in member ID here. We do not have any transactions yet. No updates, no commits. We're doing get goals and we're passing in just a member ID and token. With no trailing comma. Uh, kind of expect that to work, and we expect an empty token string, empty authentication error, and then a whole bunch of stuff, which should be
probably goals. I think I might log that because I'm not sure what the, uh, without going and looking at the client stuff, I'm not sure on the format in there. It should just be an, a named array. Or let's give it a test. Let's, uh, let's say, okay, I expect goals. And something following it. So I'll leave that blank for the moment. I'll give it a go. Past. Okay. That doesn't happen often. Um, okay. So let's break it. So what we're expecting now is an object in there. I wonder what the formatting's like on that. Well, it's going to be an array. I think I need to log that because that's going to be, I think, just a raw array of values. But I'm not sure about the spacing. I'm not sure if that matters, but. How much do I want to test? Okay, let's just do a quick log. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's do the first couple of bits, um, and then when we get to, I think we'll rapidly run out of time actually. Let's just do the ID and member ID, and then we'll do the rest next time. Just do it in the one. Yeah. So it's an array of objects with an ID which is quoted to and no space. Yeah. Quote, do the thing, do the thing, and then do another one. Plus, go on ID. Well, in theory, that should work. And past and then 
hammer. Uh, lowercase again. Should be the member ID working. Good stuff. Right, I need to go. I need to wrap up and get ready for my work day. But that's good. So we've got a whole bunch of tests. Uh, we've fixed up the mock, token mock stuff, um, and we've got a test to goals. So I can just quickly commit that, I think. So let's quickly put a little Okay. Um, we'll come in here. Test. Single goal. And yeah, I'll just commit it. Okay. All right. Okay, that's me. Um until next time, take care.